And for many of us here, uh, the PFLAG mums I know, Sharon Bless was probably the first PFLAG mum we saw. And, and it gave us the idea that one day that could be us. And here we are. It, it is us. It is our life. And so we are so thankful that uh, through TV you, you showed us who we could be. And, and you as Debbie Novotny um, have been inspirational to us. And on behalf of Toronto PFLAG, we're just so happy to honor you. Please. That's you. That's Debbie. 
And I went, oh, fuck. <laughs> I knew what she was about to see was Debbie Novotny come on the screen. The first P-flag mom ever portrayed with a crazy, crazy wig. Sorry, James, my wig mom's ah. here. <laughs> um, with with uh, the, the, the really beautiful makeup. Thank you, Stephen. He's here, too. Um, uh, the, the crazy clothes, the vulgar t-shirts, the mouth rougher than any man's on the show. And this is what she's going to see is the first peak leg I've ever portrayed. I became so embarrassed, this is the truth, I became so embarrassed that I slid down in my seat and I cut out before the show ended. So I could never meet her. Or rather, so she'd never have to meet her. And um, I didn't want to make that mistake again. And you, 13 years later, have invited me back home. I'm a landed immigrant, by the way. I want to come. Um, I'm, I'm trying to sort of follow this, but um, I was I was not always uh, evolved or involved or aware of what was going on. TV people work long hours and they're very sheltered. Cagney and Lacey, I knew nothing about feminism until I played first Cagney. And although I had lots and lots of gay friends, I really knew very little about the heartache and the tragedy and the corrections that needed to be made in the gay community until I played Debbie Novotny. Um, I say about TV actors that uh, we, we are locked in jail. Um, we don't get out much and we don't really know what's going on outside. And occasionally, <coughs> a moment like this or making a change in someone's life is the, the little bit of sunshine that comes through the bars. Um, I wanted the role of Debbie Novotny. As soon as I read it, I called Showtime and asked them if they'd give it to me. And uh, they said, sure. <laughs> um, The head of Showtime said, I like the idea, Sharon. I think you'll bring a little class to the project. <laughs> and I said, Jerry, class is not what I had in mind. <laughs> um, but the truth is, although Debbie, her look was crazy, and I invented that look, by the way. Heart was the most important thing, and I knew I could play her because I played my mom. My mom did not look like Debbie. She looked like Irene. <laughs> she did. And my mom had this amazing, amazing heart, uh, great compassion, which she taught me, and I said, I know how to play her, because I'm going to play how my mom loved me. Um, <coughs> Anyway, the light that comes through the bars. Um, I've had many moments of that light. I mean, you bring me back here to Toronto, the moments I've had here in Toronto, boys coming up to me saying, can I have a hug? Um, women coming up, wanting the same thing. Boys writing me saying, my best friend, the queer folk didn't come on in time, and my best friend killed himself. But I saw it, and I'm still alive. And thank you. I... <laughs> I, yeah. um, I, I want to tell a particular story of a young boy that came up to me. I was coming out of a movie, and this young man came up and he said, may I have a hug? And I, you know, I didn't, my, you know, I didn't have my wig I went to my dad, but I said, sure, honey, come on. <laughs> and he, 
I put my arms around him and I held him and this boy started sobbing. And sobbing and sobbing and sobbing and he could not stop. And, you know, people were sort of around, and I just said, I'm not going to let this boy go. I will not. Everybody else disappeared, and all I could think was the damage that had been done to this boy. That this woman who played this crazy lady on television would just touch him, just hold him, touch his body. And he responded with racking sobs. You are the people who make this difference. I only played her. Um, I, I, I still want to deviate from my script because I, I, um, all I have done really is return the love and the respect that you have given me. Um, we love you, Sharon. I, You are the ones, you are the ones who are the light that keeps coming in through the bars. You are the ones who do it. And I just got to play this character and I'm very honored that you would, you would pick me. I want to thank you because at 70 years old, this was not part of my speech. <laughs> years old, you have taught me that I can still make a difference. And for that, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I hope to always do so.